Hello, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. We are going to discuss about the sense organ ear. Ear helps us in hearing part. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this session. We are going to see the introduction to the ear and then we will be studying about the parts of the ear. Followed by we will be studying about the external ear, middle ear and inner ear. If a person says that he can hear, then it is the sense organ ears that helps him to hear. So these are the five sense organs which helps a person to feel his environment in which he is in. Eyes, ears, nose, skin and tongue which helps a person to see, hear, smell, feel and taste. First we are going to discuss about the structure of the ear. Here you can see ear has an external auditory canal, the ear drum, to which the three small bones, malus, stapes and incus are attached to. Then we have the cochlea and semicircular canals. Let us see the parts in detail. The ear is an organ that detects the sound surrounding the person. It not only receives the sound, but it also aids in balance of the body. And the ear is a part of an auditory system. It consists of three main parts, which is the outer ear, the middle ear and the inner ear. So these are the three parts of the ear of a human. First we are going to see about the external ear which is the outer ear. Your outer ear is the most external portion of the ear. The outer ear includes a fleshy visible outer ear which is known as the pinna or auricule. The ear canal and the outer layer of the tympanic membrane is commonly known as eardrum. The vibrations that is produced by the eardrum is transmitted as the sound. Your outer ear is the only visible portion of your ear. So you can see that this portion is your pinna. The middle ear is the tiny epithelium lined cavity which is hollowed out by the temporal bone. Your tympanic membrane, which is known as your eardrum, separates your internal and the external ear. It vibrates when the sound waves strike on it. The vibrations are carried on to the fluid by the three tiny bones known as ossicles. And they are malleus, incus and stapes. So these three ossicles 
transmit the sound waves to the inner ear. Next we have the middle ear. The middle ear causes the eardrum to vibrate on occurrence of sound and this movement is transmitted and amplified by your ear ossicles. The movement of the stapes against your oval window causes the movement of the fluid in inner ear. As the fluid moves in your inner ear, there is an electrical impulse that is generated which will transmit the sound to your brain. So this is how the middle ear works in hearing sequence. Next we are going to see about the inner ear. The inner ear contains mechanoreceptors that are activated by a vibration and they generate nerve impulses which are transmitted to your brain and will help the person in hearing. Your ear also helps in maintaining the equilibrium. The three spaces that are present in your inner ear are the bony labyrinth and it contains the fluid called as perilymph and endolymph. So these define your inner ear. Cochlea in your inner ear is also commonly known as snail shell. You can clearly see that your cochlea has the shape of a snail shell. It contains the organ of corti. The organ of corti holds the receptor for hearing which are the hair cells. So your higher frequencies are detected in this region and your lower frequencies are detected by the hairs inside this region. As the hair bends inside your cochlea, they will generate an electrical impulse which helps in hearing. The next part in your inner ear is semicircular canals. Your semicircular canals contain the crista ampullaris, which is a specialized receptor that generates a nerve impulse when you move your head. So on moving your head, the semicircular canals will generate the nerve impulse to the receptor crista ampullaris. You can see over here, this is your crista ampullaris. The vestibule ear vestibule is nothing but the membranous sacs which include the utricle and saccade. 
that is adjacent to the oval window and between the semi circular canals it contains receptors for equilibrium so your vestibule has the receptors for maintaining the equilibrium of the body thank you so much for joining jite hope you would have got a very good idea about the sense organ here